Okay, so here's my uh, little rundown of Rockbox. Here's the uh, main Rockbox screen. You have files, and uh, what this does is it allows you to access the basic file tree. Just click that to go back. You have the database, and with this you actually can uh, use iTunes, and you can continue to use iTunes for all your music uh, archiving and whatnot, and what happens is the database grabs it through the that iPod control folder and if you don't know what that is that is basically where all your music gets stored into weird little file names and file segments but Rockbox is smart enough to decode those the only problem is that it won't play iTunes purchases so that's a big drawback in the settings you have much much more control over just about everything on the iPod in uh, general settings you can go and uh, one of the things that I really liked is the display is that you can access much more you have much more control over what happens to uh, the backlighting and all that so you really maximize the battery life um, in system you know you have all this you can change where the screen starts the battery battery capacity um, here you can change the capacity of the battery but I think you'd only do this if you were to like you know send it and have the battery actually changed um, bookmarking this is uh, you can actually bookmark different parts of it to get to faster but I didn't really use that voice um, this uh, actually one of the reasons that Rockbox was made originally was for impaired people and you can actually have the iPod talk everything through language I'm not sure yeah wow see they have just about every language a lot more than the uh, iPod's original operating system does. Um, theme settings. We can uh, get tons of themes. Um, Rockboxthemes.com. I mean, I only have a few here. Right now I'm using the uh, DocPod. This is supposed to be like a Mac OS X mock-up. Um, recording settings. You actually can record. Um, I'm not sure where you get the recording from. Uh, I haven't tried recording line in yet. So right there on the home screen is where you go to record. Playlists, you know, just like normal playlists. Plugins. Now this is something really nice. There uh, is a wide array of plugins that you can uh, get. It comes with just about everything you need. But uh, there are a few little things that you will need to maximize your experience. Um, one thing here in the games amount portion of it. it. Takes a while to load, but see, as you can see here, this all came with it right here. One thing that it didn't come with was that it did come with Doom. As you can see, I'm starting Doom up right now. But uh, what it did not come with was the WAD file, but that is easily acquirable from the Rockbox website. And uh, it's pretty straightforward as far as how to install it. And then, you know, just go to Play Game here. And you can, there are multiple WAD files for different levels that you can get, but I just got the basic free Doom WAD file. Because, you know, I don't think I'm really going to be playing this that much. Let's see. And um, to walk use the keys this doesn't utilize the touchpad really at all so just shoot click the center button <laughs> there are that I mean I haven't really played around with this much so Okay, no, I'm sorry. To shoot is the play pause button. Here you can see just how that works. And then uh, to quit, you just slide the hold switch over, and then it'll bring up this menu. Obviously, you got to slide it again back over so you can access the controls here, and then you just uh, I'll go down to quit game. And right there it says press select to quit. That's kind of like a confirmation. And give it a few seconds to go back to the game menu. Okay, now most of these, again, did come with. Um, okay, see these two Pokemon right here I did add. And I did this to test because I know when Nintendo first came out, Pokemon was like the biggest thing. And uh, it does, oddly enough, come with a Game Boy, Game Boy Color emulator. And uh, to play these game these ROMs, you just acquire the ROMs you know, from a website. I don't condone illegal ROM activity, however. But um, you just get the ROM, 
and then you push and hold the center button then you go down to open with and then rock boy it did come with this rock boy application but it did not come with any ROM so of course those you have to acquire on your own but uh, with a simple Google searching you can find those rather easily it took me about five minutes to get a couple games so here we go rock boy the funny thing about these is that uh, the Game Boy emulation files are really really small like less than a meg but uh, you know with only 32 megs of RAM on the iPod does take a while but as you can see here is loading it just like it does on a Game Boy this isn't a video of any kind this is real I assure you I'm not faking you guys here and um, So, you know, I'm going to run through all this later for the sake of the video time. So, then again, flip, hold, switch. Brings it back over here. Flip it back to get access to the controls and quit. And I'm pretty sure that most of these ROMs do not use the touchpad. They do use the buttons. So, uh, there's another Pokemon that I got. Again, the rest of these were kind of built in. Super Mario Bros. I'll show you one of these. I'll just show you this one. Okay, yeah, see, if you just click it, it says it's incompatible, you have to press and hold it, then go down to open with, and then rock boy. Give it a few seconds here. Here we go, Super Mario Land 2. See, I have no idea what the controls for this are. There, see, I think this is... Oh, okay, see, now, something interesting that I did notice about these Mario games is that they can actually utilize touchpad so notice you don't hear a click I am just gently putting my finger pressure heat on the touchpad so okay and then to jump is the center button and then to quit again just flip flip again and you can you can actually save your position you know if you were going to use this as a sole game boy but then quit And, uh, and it'll bring you back over here. Um, this can play any Game Boy and Game Boy Color emulations. Um, I haven't tried it with Game Boy Advance, but I'm pretty sure that that won't work. Um, it also does play Pac-Man, but I was uh, unable to obtain a Pac-Man WAD file. So applications. Uh, it does have a few, you know, I suppose could be useful applications, you know, like Stopwatch, Rock Paint. Here, let's show Rock Paint. This is basically a, give it a second to load. This I found kind of hard to use. There you go, you can see the cursor now. Now I'm not sure here. I think you have to be pushing the center button and the down key. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's pretty much, you know, I uh, just did this earlier, so with more time, you can figure this out. Okay, see, now pushing min middle and center brings up the menu here, and you can change, you know, all kinds of stuff. It's kind of like paint, but we're just going to go ahead and exit. And, you know, text editor, battery bench. Battery bench actually tests the way your battery, if it's working fine and whatnot. The last thing I want to show is demos, and basically these are just little like kind of presentations here. This is called Matrix. That's that's really all these are. These really aren't anything. And again, menu and center gets you back out. And uh, that's about it for, uh, for Rockbox. And then system here, you can get uh, like running time. Shows you how long you've been using it. Rockbox information and whatnot. So, in a nutshell, that's Rockbox. And um, real quick, I want to show you how to get back to the original iPod firmware. Reset the uh, iPod, like so. As soon as it resets, flip the hold switch. 
and you'll get the original iPod software. There you go. And uh, real quick, this is a 5.5 generation, the uh, updated with a brighter screen and a longer battery life, 30 gigabyte iPod. Thanks for watching.